and Old Faithful and that whole area. This is part of living on this planet. This planet is in constant change. But don't worry, you can pay a tax to Al Gore. He'll wave a magic wand and fix all of those problems. It's coming up after this quick break. Again, more of your calls straight ahead and a ton of important news we haven't even gotten to yet. Infowars.com. Invisible Empire is now premiered at PrisonPlanet.tv. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at efoodsdirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. Okay, if you just joined us, there's Mexican helicopters, troops running around all over South Texas and West Texas. That's in the news. My internal sources in law enforcement and the military have confirmed that U.S. forces are backing Mexican forces on the U.S. side in a giant violation of U.S. sovereignty, murdering people coming across the border they claim are drug dealers involved uh, in criminal activity. Just incredible police state unfolding. FEMA's having internal drills for nukes going off inside the United States. Obama and Clinton are saying nukes are going off in the U.S. are the greatest threat. And the domestic groups, what the head of the FBI said Friday, are, are as big a threat as, quote, al-Qaeda or al-Qaeda. Clinton says he hopes there'd have to be a big terror attack to shut down the Tea Parties and that he demonized the Internet as bad and, and that it's causing all this anger. No, we've had $28 trillion, according to Bloomberg, the last year and a half stolen. We've got 20-plus percent real unemployment. The economy's falling apart. And now they're back with the new banker bailout. It's not a bailout. It's a robbery. And so the establishment's saying, sit down and shut up to the American people. We're going to say you're racist. Oh, that doesn't make you sit down and shut up. What does it have to do with race to say you don't want banks raping you? And now they're saying, okay, well, maybe you're a terrorist. Gee, I hope there'd have to be a terror attack. And th thank God Limbaugh and Savage and others see this for what it is. Savage is on the record saying he believes they're going to stage a big terror attack. Limbaugh says if, they, if something does happen, it may be staged. And that this is, I mean, how obvious if they do stage something? They're hyping it, they're hyping it, then it happens. I mean, th th this is a revolution by offshore criminal banks, a private, corporate, hostile takeover of the country. And people better grow up and get involved and get angry and speak out. Because if we become aware of false flags, self-inflicted wound, inside job events... If we become aware of this tactic, it then nullifies this tool to a great extent. They're saying they want to use NORTHCOM, 400,000 U.S. troops domestically in the U.S. That's Army Times. We cover it all in Fall of the Republic. We cover it in the Obama deception. These films have all the government's documents and news articles. They're training the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts to spy on their parents. They've got naked body scanners in the airports. All over the country, schools are watching kids at home in bed off their government-issued laptops. This isn't Kansas anymore. What happened in Germany, what happened in Russia, what happened in China, what happened in Cambodia, what happened in Cuba, what happened in Vietnam, what happened in Venezuela, what happened in Argentina under right-wing and left-wing governments is happening. Criminals get in, they decide to go for it all. We got the government, let's stage some events and take over this society. Don't say it can't happen here, folks. It is happening here. The Pentagon works for offshore banks. I mean, the Pentagon's out promoting global warming. The Pentagon is out promoting peak oil, so there's not enough oil. I mean, it's not our average military people. It's the propaganda system. Our country isn't run by the people of the nation. 
Look at all the lies government's told you. Look at all the things that have happened. Okay, coming up, I want to get into the new banking law they want to pass to further loot you and your family. You think you think the health care is eluding? You think the banker bailout's eluding? You think uh, the, the VAT tax they're calling for and the carbon taxes are eluding? You ain't seen nothing yet. Let's talk to proof in Las Vegas, Nevada, site of one of the government drills to nuke. Go ahead, proof. Hey, thanks, Alex, uh, and I want to thank you so much for bringing this article to our attention uh, regarding Vegas. And uh, I have given you so much props for for uh, for showing us stuff like this before everybody else. What well, I would like you. to know, Alex, is now that NLE 10, when it was scrapped off the website, was that scrapped for good or was that just hushed because they can't keep the word out? All right, let me let me stop you right there. Um, for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers, I will actually show you the mainstream news articles and the document right now. Th th this has not been scrubbed. That's what's so asinine. A county and a city separately posted these because a lot of government people in local areas aren't clear about documents and Fourier, so they post their documents. And, and this has been in the Christian Science Monitor. This has been in the Associated Press. And we have links to those articles about it. So this would be like FEMA calling newspapers up and saying, don't talk about the ash plume over Europe. Or don't talk about the Winter Olympics. I mean, it's on record. Okay, but here's the document. I'll give people a close shot that people don't want folks to see. You go to Infowars.com and there is an article... Uh, titled National Level Exercise 2010 Exercise Overview. There's another one. Why is FEMA trying to cover up NLE 10? And, and, and here is the, let me see how many pages. Yeah, 10 page document they don't want you to see. How they're running local police, how they're federalizing, um, how they're drilling for a IND nuclear terror attack. Uh, and they say that here in the document. Let me flip to that page. Uh, four folks that uh, just joined us. I just marked it during the two segments ago. But, I mean, this is all up on the website, sir. If you want to go read uh, this NLE 10, here it is. Uh, it says, um, reflective of past exercise lessons, learn partnering to nuclear scenarios. That's page two. And uh, then on page five, exercise scenario and conduct to no notice near simultaneous IND detonations. And that's defined earlier as a nuclear attack. And then here is the Christian Science Monitor article, terrorist attack on Las Vegas canceled politics over preparedness. So there is the article. And the question is, why do they want NLE 10 to stay a secret? Go ahead. Well, yeah, that's exactly what my question was. And I, I think you may have covered it, but I am going well, to... Well, hold on, uh, hold on. How many point? months ago did I tell you Obama may or allow a terrorist or stage oh, an event? Since before he was elected. Exactly. So, but, but, but my point is, here's the Washington Times. Obama administration hyping terror nuclear risk. See, see, so I was saying this all week, then we get this document. You understand? Right. And, and then we know like FEMA ran, let me tell people, let me tell people. Deal. Well, since you're asking the question, Ken, uh, I forget his first name, the deputy head of, of uh, FEMA was running a drill September 10th, September 11th, around the World Trade Center with the city of a terror attack on the towers, and they moved their command center out that morning, and he went on, you can pull this up, uh, FEMA deputy director tells ABC News they were running drill on 9-11, and he says, we were running a drill of a terror attack on these buildings. Then they went before Congress and said we weren't, and lied. Then it came out, they were, it was called Tripod 2, and that was only one drill. The Pentagon and CIA were running drills of the exact same attacks at the exact same time. Do you understand that? Oh, absolutely, I understand that. And I'm looking forward on Saturday, next week, I'm going to make some flyers, and I'm going to let people know exactly what came out of the Washington Post and the Christian Science Monitor and everything else. I'm going to let as many people know as I can. Well, God bless you. What do you think's going on hey. here? 
Sorry, I couldn't hear you, sir. What do you think's going on here? In Vegas? Well, what I think is that uh, if they're still having it on and they scrapping it off the website, they don't want any evidence or any paper trail saying that something is going to happen because when it happens, they, they don't want anyone to find a secret leaked document that says, oh, look, they already planned it. So, I appreciate your call. Uh, I said over two years ago that Vegas was a prime target because it's going bankrupt and is having about a third of the traffic it was having before. The mafia, basically, the globalist mafia runs Vegas. What a great way to blow up Vegas and then get all that insurance money and government insurance money from the American people. I mean, I have always said, well, the CFR likes to brag about what they're planning. And it was the heart.